Please be advised that everything in my video is purely for entertainment purposes. These are purely my thoughts and opinions and are subjective. I must advise you to please do your own research. All media users found on the public domain and are fair use and fair dealings. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? I am... Um... I'm back. I'm back. I've been sick in bed, as some of you know, in Twitter for the last few days. No, it is not the coronavirus. I am. I unfortunately ate something dodgy a couple of days before I came home. Um, I've spent the last couple of days in bed. I'm still not a hundred percent. I've managed to get myself like a nice eye infection. I've got no ma eye makeup on. But you know, I don't care, this isn't a beauty channel. I'd like to point out that I had some really, really mean comments while I was away and I'm laughing about it because I'm like, well, get a life. Do you know, I have people saying, going, oh my God, can you not brush your hair? I can't believe that you're lying on a bed giving this video, blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, one, I'm staying with my family. It's the only quiet room in the house. Two, brush my hair. I've just come off the beach. Are you on the beach? Did you just spend the morning swimming with dolphins? No, so. People are just so nasty, aren't they? Oh, you've got to take a little bit of your own medicine. Um, shut up. I'm not horrible about Megan personally, but I do criticise the way that this couple behave, and I also criticise other members of the royal family. So anyway, on the positive side, I'm back. I am feeling better. My husband loved it. We definitely 100% want to move to Australia. We're just going to start looking at reputable companies to find out more information. There's so many out there on the internet. I stayed with my family when I was out there and I had an amazing time. They have such an amazing lifestyle. I love the Australian lifestyle. I'm going to do a video during the week once I've sorted out my pictures. It will take me a few days. We've got some on iPhones, some on cameras, some on, you know, so I've got to kind of get them all together, but I really want to do a good video. It's a beautiful country. I can tell you more about the fires and a bit more about how the actual Australian people feel. Um, I spoke to so many people out there that live out there and you know, it, it's not manipulated by the media. So this is all coming, this is all stuff I'm gonna do. So this video, talking about Harry and Meghan's security bill, which seems to be going up and up and up and up and up, doesn't it? It seems to be one of the hugest sticking points between Canada keeping Harry and Meghan, the UK, who is going to pay for them now that they have become independent citizens. So there's been a few feathers that have been ruffled in Canada when the Canadians have realised, I don't know who it is that told them, some knew, some didn't, that they've actually been paying for Harry and Meghan since they went on their, what was it called, mental health rest break since November, when they were actually devious, cunningly masterminding um, Mexit, basically. And um, yeah, so that's put a few more noses out of joint. There was a lot of concerns that because uh, the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin, is friends with Meghan, that they were going to pay. Turns out, they said no. The Canadians said no. So as of the 31st of March, the Canadians will not pay. The reason being is because Meghan and Harry are no longer going to be members of the royal family. Well, then, I suppose, kind of, as Meghan has clearly pointed out several times, that Harry and Archie are still sixth and seventh in line. Yeah, sorry, she loves to bring up the fact that she hates this royal family, everything that they've done to her, the suppression that they've caused her and Harry, the soul-crushing experience, but they're always been known as royals because of her husband and her child. Mm, doesn't quite add up, does it? A nice young lady in the United Kingdom has also started up one for us, for the UK taxpayers, because if the Canadians can say no, so can we. As of the 31st of March, these two need to pay their own way. No one is saying that they should not have security, but they should pay for security themselves. So everyone that can, please, please, please take a look at the link. I'll put it in the description. Please log on and sign this. As I said, it's not about us saying that they should not be protected. Yes, of course, they should have protection, but they are multi-millionaires. They intend to earn millions more of themselves. They deserve to pay for it themselves. If the Queen and Charles are so concerned, then they should dip into their own pockets. You are talking about a family that are basically billionaires. So please, if you get the chance, please sign, please share, please get every one of your friends and family, because if the Canadians can be heard by their government, so can we. So now we're left with the problem, aren't we? So the Canadians, as of the 31st of March, are not going to pay for them. So what the bill is now creeping up, we're beginning to see true reports coming through now that the actual true costs of taking care of Harry and Meghan 
is around about more than 20 million per year mark, which is absolute insanity. Part of the reason for this is Harry's doing one thing, Meghan's doing another thing, and they seem to keep leaving Archie on his own, don't they? So now you've got like a special royal protection team. They now have to be split looking after Harry, split looking after Meghan, and when they both leave the country at separate times, you then have three separate protection teams, don't you? It is absolutely crazy. It's also recently been reported that the security teams um, are actually staying in a basically an Airbnb um, style mansion. It costs something like £1,100 per week, um, close to where the couple's mansion is that they're staying rent free. Now, this works out roughly, oh, if I do it in dollars for most of you, $73,000 per year for the general rotation of staff just to stay um, near this mansion. It's a serious lot of money, isn't it? I guess some of it is that some stay in the main house with Harry and Meghan when they're doing coffee runs and then the rest, you know, when they're off shift, they get to stay at this, you know, this Airbnb place locally. I can't even believe Catherine and William, when they travel, they have this much drama. They say it's because they have so many threats, but they can't possibly disclose any of this information because it's private security. No, it's not. It's almost like Meghan is on a power trip and she's basically blowing up Harry's sense of you know, protection going I'm gonna die like your mother because we don't have enough protection for a couple that are so obsessed right so completely obsessed with national security that something bad's going to happen to them. They need security. They need worldwide security. They need more security than the Queen and Donald Trump themselves to protect them. They do enough like, leave like leaving their baby on their own all the time. Does no one else find that weird? Does no one else find it weird that Harry's in England now, Meghan is supposedly coming to England, but they're leaving Archie behind? People have certain fans going, oh, it's the coronavirus. But Harry and Meghan fly private jets. They don't mix with the commoners like you and me. Um, they can pay for medical care. They can have the best advice in the entire world. But the point is, they're going to leave Archie behind because the coro I keep struggling with it, with the coronavirus. So does that mean that Harry and Meghan are so concerned about it that when they travel, they're going to spend 14 days in quarantine before they go back to their son? Are they going to do that? Because surely, you know, 14 days to kind of work out if you've got it or not. That's what I mean. It's all bullshit. I tell you exactly why Archie's not coming, because it's vindictive spitefulness. This is Megan exercising her control, going over, Mexit hasn't gone how I want. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. You can't get at him. I think it's disgusting of Harry, and I'm not blaming Megan for this, and I just, you know, I absolutely... Megan is not the supervillain here. Harry is completely responsible for this as well. How can he be doing this to his grandmother? Let's be honest, we all thought Philip was gonna go at Christmas. Most of us did. He is in his late 90s. He is. He got really sick. You know, it's touch and go at his age. Um, the Queen, she's in her twilight years and I hope we've got many more years with her. You know, I hope she lives till she's a bloody 110. But the point is, what was her excuse for Balmoral in summer, Christmas? She is using, she is weaponizing this child, already keeping them, keeping him away from his family. And it's the ultimate control chip that she's got. It is true narcissism. I'm, so, I'm sociopaths. It's, it's mean, it's nasty, and it's cruel, and it's cruel of both of them. And on top of that, the fact that they're leaving Archie behind, that's another apparently £50,000 bill on top because obviously the security teams are then have to be split. So you've got a security team for Harry, then a security team for Meghan, and then someone's going to have to stay behind and look after Archie and the nannies and everything. It's very bizarre for a couple that Meghan, bearing in mind that she didn't want to leave her child at any time over Christmas because the royal family would cruelly tear him away from her while she had Christmas lunch with them for a few hours, but she's quite happy to leave him for days, weeks on end. So Meghan is apparently coming back to the UK. Oh, who'd have thought it? I certainly didn't. And I still don't quite believe that she's going to have the brass balls to do it. She's got Harry's balls, but has she got enough balls herself to do it? What do you think? So what visits have we got? We've got the 5th of March, we've got the Endeavour Awards. Now, bearing in mind, this is all to do with awards for military personnel. Um, Meghan, in a very expensive dress, what do you think? She'll give a speech or just be there to applaud Harry giving a speech? She's got a bloody cheek considering that Harry's left all of his military appointments and back down, he's left the Queen. Um, Meghan has literally caused all of this controversy. She got her husband to leave all of his military appointments and now they're gonna be there awarding military purse now. Um, I can't see it going down well. Um, he's turned his back on his military, his family, the Queen, 
the country, but we'll see how well that goes down. They've always got rent a crowd. So the next up, you've got the 7th of March, which is the Mount Batten Music Festival. Now this one, I find, I don't know how she's gonna show, or he is gonna show his face at this one. This is where they get together um, bands of the, um, the Royal Marines. Now, the Royal Marines, does that ring in anyone's ears about what Harry did with Meghan? About when it was a memorial concert for 11 Marines that were killed by the IRA and Harry was invited to go to the, you know, to the concert. In 2017, Harry was given the position of Captain General of the Royal Marines. He was awarded this position or handed over from Prince Philip. This was the 30 year anniversary of these 11 men that gave up their lives fighting for their country and they lost their lives against uh, an IRA bombing. Harry should have been there. And uh, he refused, he refused to go. Where was he? Oh, he was um, basically pimping out his wife to Bob Iger, the music exec, to get her voiceover work which, as it turns out, hasn't gone down so well, has it? I don't think it's linked, but I do find it quite funny because Meghan is quite toxic. It's reverse Midas touch. Bob Iger, the Disney exec, has since stepped down. So after all those leaked reports of her friends going, Meghan is not quite done with Disney and Disney are not quite done with her, well, she got a further kind of burn from that because apparently a top executive at Disney has been quoted stating going, um, Meghan needs Disney a lot more than Disney needs Meghan. She's too controversial a figure. Ouch! Damn straight she's a controversial figure. As I said, reverse Midas touch. So that did make me chuckle a bit. But in all seriousness, how can Harry show his face at a um, basically anything to do with the Marines after doing that? I'm pretty sure military personnel are disgusted at how he's just turned his back on everyone. All of his duties, everything. <laughs> the Lion King premiere. I mean, how disgusting was that? 8th of March, Meghan on her own. Get this doing what? International Women's Day again. Meghan that has stepped on every man and basically used every man in her entire life to get what she wants from her father, from the schooling, for boyfriends in that video clip of getting her a car and a license plate. Well, her husband, Trevor, getting her film parts, begging and pleading to get her bits in films. It was his connections that got her suits. The second that suits basically got renewed for season two. He was ditched. She's used men her entire life to get to every station that she has. She's married Prince Harry to get to where she has. And of course, oh, what's she got now? Now that she's married to Prince Harry, she has been invited to none other than the New York Met Gala. Oh my God, can you imagine the excitement that Meghan has had that invite? There's no, um, well, there's no mention of Harry actually attending. Um, so who's gonna fix her ponytail or carry her handbag? Um, I guess Harry's at home um, babysitting that day. Then following on from this in the ninth of March, we have the Commonwealth. Oh wow, this is gonna be interesting, isn't it? Meghan was pregnant at the last Commonwealth Day and yeah, it's, it's gonna be an odd one, isn't it? To see how all the other royal members of family, are they gonna fake it? Um, I just, I really can't see Meghan come in. I, I think there'll be a last minute excuse. I can't see how she can show her face. She's done nothing but bad mouth the Queen which will I'll be doing in my next video. I can't see how other members of the royal family want to speak to them. I can't see how William is gonna really hold face with Harry given that Harry has now been hawking off his personal, deep, emotional discussions about their mother. It's not just the fact that they've left the royal family. They weren't happy. So if they weren't happy, what was the point of staying in a job? I've said this before, you don't stay in a job when you're unhappy. So that's fine, but the way that they've been so venomous towards the Queen and the rest of the family, since they've left. They've been really, really cruel, very, very vicious. Megan's got her friends leaking again, and the whole thing has just been a real spit in the face to the Queen, considering Megan did 72 engagements in total since she married the royal family. She was given the title of the Royal Duchess. She was being called an HRH. People were curtsying to her. Her wildest dreams came true, and what did she do? She conned, sneaked, plotted, planned, she has been a conniving little fox, and that's offensive to foxes, really. My suspicions are we're definitely gonna see Prince Harry, but I just can't see that Meghan can show face. I really can't. I, um, I, w I will be amazed, but like I said, she's a bit of a sociopath, psychopath, so who knows? She could quite happily just stand there and just be like, yay! Um, we'll see, but what do you guys think on this one? Do you think she'll turn up? 
Uh, what excuses do you think she can give genuinely for not turning up? The stress is too much, panic attacks, anxiety. The, the, she knows that the media would be waiting to mercilessly bully her. The risk of coronavirus is too much for her to travel. Um, yeah, Archie, Archie catches a cold or something. You know, he's, he's too poorly for her to leave him because she's such an attentive mother. I just, I can't think. Guys, think of something because I just, I don't know. Send me messages, tell me what you think. Do you think Meghan will turn up? What do you, excuse do you think she will have for not turning up? Is the Queen just testing them knowing that basically that neither will turn up when it comes to the Commonwealth? Is this their way, uh, her way of saying basically you turn up or you're going to be stripped of your president and vice president of the Commonwealth Queen's Trust? I really don't know at this point, but I just cannot see how she can possibly turn up. But at this point, I don't think any of us know what's going on with the Markles anymore. The Markles, the Harkles. So I'll be back with you guys very, very soon. Take care. Bye bye. If you like my video, please remember to like and subscribe. Please angry typists, you will be blocked, so save your fingers for time. If you would like to buy me a coffee, please go to my about page and click the link. Love, Taz.